but not playing a match. <laughs> I mean, hand warmers can take multiple forms. So. Maybe this is one big skamaz by Bonfire, so she has the upper hand, so uh, Sir Marius is uh, kind of used to comboing against Zelda rather than Sheik. You know, maybe this is yep. one big long con. Is she back on the sheet? It looks like. I love uh, the uh, short hop back here from Bonfire there. Indeed. Really short hop backwards. The backwards short hop in general from Sheik is just really good for evasive options, especially against characters like Peach that don't have necessarily the largest forward hitboxes. Mm. Yeah, Bonfire just letting Sumeris have it. Oh, but Sumeris is the first one to take the stock with the edge hog. She's probably not phased though. She knows what she can do. Oh yeah, really, right really away, smart. Low gets the needle. response, and now we're back nil nil, love all up until Sir Maris lands those first couple hits. Uh, but Bonfire actually missed the punish on down smash there. I'm sure. I'm sure she's uh she was gonna be ready for the next couple ones. Hmm. And, okay. uh, yeah, let's see. Great recovery from Bonfire, making it a little bit more difficult. Yep, great double poof. Definitely. Shield grabs... I feel like that's fine, especially when uh, uh, Peach has back air. But, yeah, gets punished that time because Peach can move out of a float cancelled back air pretty quickly and often fast enough to punish a whip shield grab. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, no. Okay, I like these grabs. Ooh, try to, try to, try to do some more USDA certified plays right there, but... Uh, uh, I do we'll think that Bonfire was trying to snap to ledge with the initial part of the up feed, but, um, Samaris very quickly gets to the ledge and punishes that option. Certainly. Off to a really strong start, actually, against the player that I, I, I would think is favored. Mm-hmm. Oh, but the weak hit up there is not enough to kill. Ooh. Try, try to do sauce. something with the parasol, that's... Yeah, the parasauce. That's ambitious. Ah, uh, that's not gonna kill, and... The thing is, with a, with a down throw uh, conversion there, you can actually get a dash in up air, and that's guaranteed to kill at that percent. Kind of a rough spot for Bonfire to be in, taking a lot of extra percent. Mm. Now it's two stocks, but Bonfire has got a lot of damage that she needs to make up. That should be the stock, yeah. Mm -hmm. Each's edge guard at that at that distance is pretty simple. You yeah. can either grab ledge or throw a turn up. Certainly. Uh, so yeah, no. Sir Maris has really taken advantage of the uh, momentum that they were able to gain the first part right. of the match. And now that and Bonfire's Bonfire's landed on him now. She's she's got a lot of hits in. I really like those four hop aerials. Right. But, and unfortunately ooh. there were a couple of flubs on Bonfire's part, but she seems to be making it work. Yeah, it looks like maybe she just needed to ease in. Smartly just rolls to ledge, toggles the shield a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like these needles. Yeah, she's choosing her spots nicely. She didn't overcommit on that whiff down smash. Really smart stuff by Bonfire. Definitely. Bonfire, yeah, I think she can make the comeback. Oh, it looks I like love she's that trying. Backer. She's trying her hardest to make that comeback. Oh, but the down smash. Tremaris ain't giving up. Tremaris ain't giving up their lead just yet. Ooh. Oh, this could be big. Oh. oh, but they both flubbed their... Okay, a little bit of spaghetti off stage. And, okay, trying to catch out the parasol. Thought she was gonna... Thought they were just gonna home in on the ledge, but... This could be the stock. She still has her double Ooh. jump. Oh! Gets back! And shields the down smack. Bonfire is on fire right now. Let's go. This is gonna be a crazy comeback. Oh, if the quarter is not gonna off. kill yet. She's not close, yet. though. Oh, but still not killing. Oh, oh and the tricky up air, really spike. smart stuff. That is a stage spike of 
That is that is not like any stage spike I've ever seen. Oh, she, I don't know if that was a a read that Sir Maris was holding ledge because the up. I was... mean, be, two stocks before the uh, the double poof worked. So maybe that I don't know if that was an actual an actual read or not. But it was it was really solid. Uh, I don't think Sir Maris was ready for that. If that was intentional, Bonfire's crazy. Yeah, Bonfire, she's she's incredibly good. <laughs> All right, and now we head to Fountain. I like these rolls from Bonfire to get out of Peach's pressure. Sometimes it's just that simple. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it looks like Bonfire is still unrelenting once she's able to get in, but Cermaris has already racked up a good deal of damage. And it does look like Cermaris has been DIing in on a lot of these exchanges. I wonder if Bonfire is going to convert off of that. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Yeah, now that grab is going to kill unless... Okay. Double jump to Set up with the aerial. Ooh. Still, still living. Has, a, I think, one or two more chances here. Those nares. Smart to down smash there, catch the the uh, float downwards, really smart. Down tilt, you love to see it. Yeah, it's just it's just so hard to kill Peach like that when she's got those recovery options. Right, uh, but Sheik is one of those characters that actually has set kill confirms against Peach, which is kind of rare. Um, so I'm I'm pretty excited to. Yeah, see, down tilt up air works at an astoundingly high percent. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir Maris was at 130, and it's still converted. Yeah, all bonfires just got to do is rack up the damage and then follow that recipe. Right, and uh, bonfire's doing a good job at kind of tacking on hits, but she's taking a lot of trades where I, I really feel like she shouldn't be. Um, really smart grab. Okay, but these follow-ups, these aerials, I like them. Ooh, the, the shield poke. Yeah, shield poke back air. Such a large move. Found a little bit of an Yeah, and Sir Maris is getting boxed out now. Yeah. Sir Maris was doing this the previous match, and now now they're getting to taste their own medicine. Oh, and so oh, smart to go for the go. delayed float into falling back air to catch the, uh, to lo the low recovery from Bonfire. Mm-hmm. That's the forward slow. air. And yeah, only only 6% for Bonfire. So, oh, wait, Cerveris was trying to shut it down. That was that was ambitious. Nice. Okay, we, we got some tilts, we got some fares. Classic great Sheik recipe. I'm liking these falling needles from Sheik as well. Um, yes. It's, um, to catch the, the float and make it a really awkward punish if Cerveris chooses to go for the trade there. These aerials are calculated too. It's like Bonfire is using. Bonfire just assesses the situation and just picks the exact right one every time. Right, and Sermer smartly going for down air there. Oh, oh what a recovery from vegetables. Bonfire! And and here's the thing, she she crouch canceled the first hit of down smash, so it would send her to the opposite end of it. Very good effort, but good on Cerberus for catching that out. Bonfire almost had a USDA certified recovery right there. Goodness gracious. Alright. The forward air, yup. Try to poke with the bear. Sweet spot. Come on. There we go. A. And yeah, that should kill. That was a strong hit of backer, which does a deceivingly high amount of knockback. Mm -hmm. Falling with the chain, I love it. Definitely a missed input. I still love it. Every Sheik in chat just, you know, relates so hard to that. Yeah, they're putting on a show. Oh, and she just missed that down tilt spacing by a little bit. Oh, but Sir Maris gets up from ledge a little bit too quickly there. Could yeah. Could be anyone's game here. Bonfire, Bonfire needs a grab. In on, locking in on those ledges. Very, like very confident and it's it's crazy that it's worked every time so far oh we gotta watch out chance for some... here oh, oh but the, air dodge. the air dodge 
And we're going to a game three for I believe. No wait, there was one other game three while we were on. Right, so. but this is this is some very high level chic peach. I'm I'm very happy to be casting this. As am I. So um I'm I'm assuming we're gonna see a little bit of a maybe battlefield. Um probably not going back, maybe Pokemon or even FD is a, is an okay choice versus Peach, especially in this particular matchup. You can you have a lot more room to to dash back and try to space out your grabs a little better. Wonder wonder what uh what bonfire is gonna go for here. Yeah. FD. Ooh, yeah. FD. Okay. Bonfire. Yeah, I, I love the these. the The full hop needles comes down in like a wave if you charge it properly. So it, it actually stuffs out a lot of um, Peach's approach options, especially if the Peach is more likely to go for float approaches. You thinking that's part of why she wanted to go to FD? I think so. Um, it seems that Cermaris is pretty comfortable on this stage, as are most Peaches, but I think that Bonfire has a plan going into this. Mm. If she's got a plan, though, she better execute it quick, because Cermaris is just... Oh, this is this is par for the course in this matchup. He's off stage half the time. <laughs> oh, I thought that she was going to go for a short in there, but misses the spacing a little bit. Yeah. And I love but... these down smashes to catch the uh, the float approach, but she's getting kind of schmixed on her, on the DI. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of a schmixture coming in, but yeah, no, Sir Maris is just yeah, no, Sir Maris has this down pat. I'd like to say, but you never know. Well, this matchup comes in bursts. Is yes. my popular opinion. I think it's it's it looks like it's going one way, and then Sheik gets one big conversion, or Peach gets one big conversion, and suddenly uh, the stock count is even. Yeah, and it's like you never know when it comes. We still gotta see. Oh, the snipe! Well played, Armada. Where you at? I wonder if she's gonna air dodge again. Nope. Yeah. Oh if my that god, that 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 snap to ledge that Sir Maris just did was so fast and it was actually such a tricky little double jump movement. Yeah, we gotta see we gotta see Bonfire make that conversion real quick, like cause... Again with the needles, gets a free 16%. Actually significant in this matchup. But Bonfire's mm -hmm. not ready to punish the down smash on shield yet again. Such a hard move to punish properly if you're not ready for it. Oh, just more more veggie play. Yeah. Ooh. And throwing it back. Oh, and once again. Once again. And now Bonfire is on her tournament stock. Yeah, Sir Maris has a commanding hold on this game. Oh, and Bonfire is starting to just spam down smashes at this point. Kind of sign of desperation, but maybe an early edge guard would be huge. It's ooh, Bonfire trying to throw it back though. But she's she's kind of struggling to get these actual. Like she's getting stray hits, but not an actual conversion yet. And that Nair's still not going to be enough to kill. Yeah, if she makes this comeback, she's a legend. Absolutely. Oh, I like air, that. that will kill. Yeah. Very well timed, baiting out the air dodge. Absolutely, just very. Oh my god, that is Peach. That's Peach in that show. Yep. Sir Maris really said, "Eat your veggies and go mm -hmm. to bed. No dessert for you." Bit of an oh. unconventional uh, counter pick from 